Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my WWE 205 Live review for um, June 27th, 2017. Um, and this episode, I thought, was pretty average, actually, because I didn't really feel like anything was special about it. Uh, we had Corey Graves and Vic Joseph on commentary on this show. I thought Vic Joseph actually was pretty bad on commentary. It's not his fault because WWE put him in a commentary when he wasn't ready. So he was, wasn't good this week. Um, Corey Graves definitely carries him on commentary at the moment. <laughs> I don't think he's ever going to be good on commentary either. Just how it is. Um, and we had uh, the first match. It was uh, Jack Gallagher versus Lee Brian Kendrick. And before the match, Jack Gallagher gets interviewed and he talks about how he may have been gentlemanly, but he's going to start trying to put that aside when he's competing in the ring. And then Kendrick comes out and pretty much says that he's a disgrace to um, England, and he comes out dressed like him. I thought that was actually well-done stuff. They have a nice little match, uh, but Kendrick beats him up with the umbrella, which means Gallagher wins by DQ, so it looks like they're going to feud. And I think a Kendrick-Jack Gallagher feud could be actually pretty good. Um, I like both guys, and I think it could be, could be good. Um, I wouldn't have probably put this... I wouldn't have even had the match. I get you wanted to have like a big match in the beginning, but I probably wouldn't have put it in the beginning of the show. I would have had it go in the middle of the show and have Kendrick just beat him up with the umbrella before the match even starts, and then you could hit the, hit the captain's hook or the slice bread um, on him instead. But what they still what they did, I th thought, worked. I wasn't really sure if Kendrick was going to be still with WWE because uh, I thought after his match with Tozawa that it was going to be like his big send-off, but... Looks like he's still going to be sticking around. And I'm like, like I said, I'm pretty interested in a Gallagher-Kendrick feud. And then we had a match between um, Mustafa Ali and Drew Gulak. Um, before the match, Drew Gulak got interviewed and talked about how he was proud of Mustafa Ali for not taking the high-flying risks and making it a safer 205 Live. Mustafa Ali comes up and says that the reason that um, Drew Gulak doesn't like high-flying is because he can't high do high flying. So they have a match. It's about the same type of match you would see out of these two guys. Nothing fancy, but it's a decent match. Uh, the ending is Mustafa Ali tries to hit a not Mustafa Ali. Drew Gulak tries to hit a splash off the top rope, but um, Mustafa Ali rolls out of the way, hits a wall up on him, and gets the win. I like the finish. That that made sense. And um, yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't think the feud's done yet. I think there's still miles you can get out of this feud. So I'm like, I like that this feud's going to continue. And then we had a, a match between Cedric Alexander and Aoyo Davari. Before the match, Aoyo Davari and uh, Noam Dahl have a segment backstage where Noam Dahl apologized for throwing his bag in the river. And Davari says he doesn't care because he said that that's peasant money. He's so rich, it doesn't matter to him. But he said, but Noam does is good because I'm broke because Alicia Fox has been blowing up my phone. Alicia Fox calls him, and Aria Devali throws his phone and breaks it and says that he still owes him. And I don't know if it's going to lead to an angle where Noam Dahl is going to have to work for Aria Devali, which I think could be pretty entertaining, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, him and Cedric Alexander had a pretty solid match. Noam Dahl came out and distracted him, and um, Aria Devali went with a hammerlock clothesline. And afterwards, Noam Dahl beats him up and says, now that they're ready to move on from Cedric Alexander, um, I guess that was all right. Um, the Noam Dahl and Cedric Alexander feud, obviously everybody knows I don't care about because it just means nothing. This week it wasn't that bad, though. Um, but it wasn't anything special. I don't really get why we're having Cedric Alexander lose. Um, I get you want to continue this feud between Cedric Alexander and Noam Doe, but I think Cedric Alexander, you should be building up um, as like a guy that can't be stopped since his return and him going to face Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship because you need to start building up contenders for Neville to face because um, he doesn't really have any. So, And afterwards, Neville comes out and cuts a formal um, in the main event and he talks about Akira Tozawa and how he's facing him at Great Balls of Fire. And he says, he tells Tozawa not to show up or else it's not going to be a good day. Tozawa comes out and does a scream chant and Neville tells him to stop. And he gets mad about it. So Tozawa, he goes to attack Tozawa. Tozawa reverses it. And afterwards, it ends with him, Tozawa standing tall. Um, overall, I like that segment. And uh, the Tozawa and Neville stuff was pretty good. Um, I like that Tozawa 
came out and didn't really speak much. He just kind of came out and took Neville's head off, which is what the feud should be built around. It shouldn't be built around the Titus brand, which is stupid. But I'm looking forward to their match with Great Balls of Fire because I think that match is going to be um, is, is going to deliver. But overall, 205 Live was pretty average this week. Nothing really worth seeing. Um, you know, a lot of the matches were, were rematches, and a lot of the matches just kind of just felt bland and stuff. So nothing really worth seeing on 205 Live. If I had to rate the show, I'd probably rate it a 5 out of 10, pretty average. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my uh, CM Brothers and Owen the Talkinator channels for future videos. And make sure to subscribe to this channel for future videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.